Well, good morning. Slept in this uh, Z-Pax Cuban fiber tent, the duplex. Um, last night, very heavy rain, um, all night long. Shuttered the tent right down. Measuring the amount of condensation to see whether there's significantly any difference between uh, Cuban fiber as it claimed to be, and I've observed, um, comparing that with uh, seal nylon tents. Set another two tents up and I'll film those as well, but there's a very small amount of condensation on here. Um, but to be honest, there was absolutely um, no drips on me this morning. There's a very small amount here. And ordinarily these conditions, um, pitching in a wet grass, heavy, heavy rain, shuttering the tent right down would have caused quite a bit of condensation in most tents so um seen this quite a few times we do get a little bit of condensation but i figure it's going to be a lot less and of course this is a sterner test because actually i slept inside this tent where the other ones i haven't um so there's going to be more potentially more condensation just from from me being inside and my uh uh, breath um, but we'll see what the other ones bring so um, outside uh, the duplex tent and you can see that this is still really taut you don't have to adjust this um, in wet weather it doesn't absorb really any moisture at all um, which is good going to swap round now to the um, Hiddeberg solo tent um, and not too bad in terms of the uh, um, tightness of it although again it's a nylon tent still nylon tent um, it's a bit saggy and um, we didn't adjust this last night um, but you would have to pour the water on there rain quite a bit but as we've gone through um, I'm just going to go inside now see how it is bear in mind I didn't sleep in this and uh, <coughs> nice slug on the zip there and I'll go through and see what the condensation is like so this is going to be the best in respect that no one slept in here last night Let's see what it's like in the flight. And, you know, look at that there. That's a fly there. That's a lot. Um, I left, I shuttered this down. Just open this in. Um, <coughs> shutting it down. But well, I left the, the vent open here all night. Try and get some in here. It's obviously pretty dry in here because we've got an inner tent unlike the uh, the duplex but you know there is a lot of condensation in this just from camping on wet ground and no condensation um, no condensation plenty of condensation um, no ventilation no uh, breeze really the only ventilation being this little uh, thing here little vent up the top so yeah quite a bit um protected with the inner inner tent but uh, you know it'll be quite a heavy tent once you got all of this off um during the, the night so here's the third tent i set up this is the stratospire or spire rather um, one from tarp tent, um, still nylon tent, um, very good tent actually, uh, very storm worthy, plenty of room, but in my experience um, you do get a lot of condensation, I expect to see a lot in here. So we'll just undo the uh, fly and just see what we've got. Uh, yeah, and you can see there is heaps and heaps and heaps of condensation. And I've got a pretty wet hand here. 
Um, the only real ventilation when you shut her down is that two of these little um, sort of uh, vents at the top, which is not very much in there. Um, and bear in mind, I hadn't slept in uh, this uh, tent at all. Um, there is a lot of condensation just because you're pitching on wet um, ground. Uh, it rained all night, it was completely still, so absolutely ideal um, for um, condensation to be um, formed. If we uh, go back round to the Cuban fibre tent, you can see that um, there was very little con condensation in there. And I think that's just the, the fabric. The fabric seems to be pretty hydrophobic. Doesn't really absorb much moisture. Um, and moisture doesn't seem to sort of form on the fabric in the same way. I'm not exactly certain of the science of that. But um, what you then, what you do find is that with uh, Cuban fibre or DCF fabrics um, that uh, you get virtually no stretch so it remains taut at night. There's little or no absorption of uh, moisture inside or outside of the tent so that when you pack up you're really packing up a pretty dry tent and contrast that to that. You know on a day when it's very still and you wanted to get away quickly you'd be pack packing up a pretty wet tent that would weigh a lot more. Um, and then if you look at the, the Hilleberg, whether it's a different type of uh, seal nylon, nylon tent, um, doesn't absorb quite as much uh, uh, water, but still fairly wet. Um, you're protected in both of the um, seal nylon tents with the inner. Of course, you're not uh, with the Cuban um, fiber or the duplex tent. There's just a, it's basically a single skin tent with, um, with a mesh uh, doors attached to it. But actually, it's never really a problem because actually you never really get dripped on. Um, imagine sleeping in these if um, you didn't have an inner tent. Um, there'd be a lot of condensation. I've got a semi-solid inner in on the Stratosphere one and a completely solid inner in for that one because this is a winter tent and I, I take this a bit more in winter as well. Um, but if you could get an option of just uh, mesh only, you would have quite a lot of dripping if you just had a mesh in a, in the uh, Stratosphere uh, one. So, um, not you know, this is the conclusions of my okay, hardly scientific test, but um, I've replicated a number of times this type of situation out in the field um, where you do. Uh, seem to get significantly less uh, condensation in uh, uh, Cuban fibre or DCF fabrics and that gives you some I think real advantages if you put the cost to one side and a lot of people say well they are costly fabrics you don't have a fabric which absorbs water it doesn't stretch it also has very low condensation in it and it uh, means that you have a much drier tent in the morning and a drier tent to pack up this is Mark's walking blog, um, thanks for watching, bye for now.